Our goal when we started this school essentially was to try to create a place where when you walked into it, you couldn't tell whether it was a technical school or a college prep school. There are three axioms of public education in this country, particularly in high schools, and they are that you separate students uh, from each other based on their perceived academic ability. You separate hands from minds, and you separate uh, school from the world beyond. And we try to integrate those three things. We integrate students, we integrate the subjects, uh, particularly technical and academic pursuits, and we try to integrate with the world beyond school as well. It takes about six weeks to build the robot. Uh, we don't just build the robot, we also compete um, as far as competition goes. Uh, everything that we do, we put it all into a document and we stand in front of the judges and say, look at us, this is what we do, this is, you know, these are our achievements. And we kind of like try and um, say, you know, like we're the best and this is, we want you to recognize that. We've had a thousand percent increase in girls this year, which was really cool. It's, it's a really enjoyable thing and it's definitely, it's great because it involves us in the community as well. These 21st century skills, these kind of employability skills, were really uh, college prep skills as well. If we were able to pull together a program where we were asking kids to work in teams, to ask good questions, uh, to consider multiple perspectives in the work that they're doing, uh, ask uh, how things are connected, uh, take big picture views and so forth, uh, that, that we would be preparing them both for college and for careers. If you want it wider, you divide you x by, so like, 10. Ooh, that's perfect. I found this image by Bastogot that I really liked, so then I kind of broke it down into all possible math, which I pretty much like just isolated parabolas and cylinders, so then I wrote like a page of notes about it and then projected it on and made two different like compositions of my notes and then made the background. So I'm trying to emulate Basquiat, but also incorporating a bunch of math. I think the culture of high tech high in general, not just our school, but the whole village, is a very hands-on approach. Collaboration is a big key element to a, a successful project, in my opinion. I think they're going to get a deeper, more meaningful like understanding of the subject as a whole, as opposed to you know one tiny piece of it. And so it's really neat that I can go to any of these kids and talk about ancient Egyptian engineering. I could talk to them about their daily life. I can talk to them about the architecture of pyramids and obelisks, and talk about volume and surface area. And, and talk about gods and goddesses, and every single one of them would know all about it. Depending on the end. Yeah, it'll work once we have our turning group. My first year here, I should say, was like my first year teaching all over again, and it was a big learning experience, very big. I needed a lot of support, a lot of help, as do pretty much every new, new teacher here. Um, but through the years, you just kind of get used to how to structure projects, how to um, give clear-cut expectations to the kids to get the best outcome you can get. A lot of it is about building a common culture of learning and questioning and feeling comfortable kind of articulating uh, your uh, observations uh, and analysis. So what if we did like seven? Okay. Yeah. Um, no, six. No, because five and, five and a half is right there. Go with six. And then the wheels can be like... <laughs> That much. Okay. Let's look. Let's do six because we can always cut away. Okay, six. Six it is. Okay. <laughs> the uh, assignment of the project is to create a toy and we're going to donate them to an orphanage down in Mexico. We started out with like a uh, blueprint and it has to have one input and for our group five outputs. So some of those things are um, the ladder moving up and down. We have um, the fireman he's gonna be like hanging off the side I think it's it's always a critical thinking exercise when you have to start from scratch when you're building something from nothing you create your ideas and then 
see the flaws of those ideas, refine them, and, and develop them out, just like you would do in the real world. So there's a lot of troubleshooting and, and questions that you have to ask, like what's causing this to fail, or why isn't this fitting together right, or how come these didn't work the way I thought they would work. And so that really forces you into that critical thinking mindset. We definitely work in teams, work in teams of two. Um, each student is responsible for creating similar things, so one student doesn't do all the work. Um, they both have to do sketches, they both have to have individual parts that they're responsible for. And so we try and create a collaborative environment by doing that. At the end we have a reflection and a share out so everybody can kind of say what, you know, what they've learned and where they've um, grown and what, what they didn't know before. It just blows me away every day to see the kinds of uh, interactions that you see between adults and kids here. You see very little behavior management going on on the part of adults. It's all conversation about what happened last week or about this assignment or about the project we're doing. That's what's really distinctive about the place, as far as I'm concerned, is the quality of relationships. It's really all about relationships and the, and the kind of interactions that you see um, amongst adults and kids here.